Hey guys, it's Mike from Galaxy S4 Soft Modder. Today I'm going to be showing you an app you can use to give your Galaxy S4 a completely new look with the click of a button. So it's called Themer, created by My Color Screen. If you're unfamiliar with them, they're a website where designers can share themes they create with other Android users and also share the particular apps, wallpapers, widgets, and procedures uh, to help others uh, replicate the design on their own phones. So in order to theme your phone like one you would see on my color screen, you'd have to read through the description and find out the wallpaper, widgets, and apps that are used, and then set up and configure everything. Um, let's check out my Galaxy S3 for example. Uh, as you can see, this isn't a typical TouchWiz uh, home screen. This is a theme I got from my color screen. Uh, it took a little while to set up. I had to make sure the wallpaper fit my device properly, configure all the uh, toggles down here, um, set up an app called Desktop Visualizer for my camera and gallery shortcuts, uh, make sure Nova Launcher's grid size could fit everything perfectly, and while you do end up with an awesome looking home screen, it can be a little tedious getting there. So my color screen has created Themer as a one-click solution. You can simply download a theme from their servers and apply it with one click. Uh, all the widgets and wallpapers are set up for you. Everything's consolidated into one easy process. All you have to do is install Themer from the Google Play Store. There's one little catch right now. Themer is in beta. Basically this means that it's still in development but they are allowing users to take part and use the app and hopefully report any bugs to help improve the software. So you can help beta test Themer by signing up on themerapp.com. Just enter your email address at the bottom. You can also download the app from the Google Play Store and sign up from inside the app. You won't be able to access the full functionality of the app until you get a beta code. And uh, the, the developers can only send out so many beta codes at a time, so it might take a few days to arrive in your email. Right now it looks like the average wait time is around 3 or 4 days. So once you receive your beta code you can enter it into the app and you'll be able to access all of the themes. So when you first open up Themer you'll get this little intro to the app. So you can read through it, um, watch the video if you'd like. And to get started just tap on browse themes. Now one thing to understand is that Themer is a launcher. So a uh, launcher is basically your home screen interface where you can place all your apps and widgets. Uh, the Galaxy S4 comes stock with the TouchWiz launcher. And you may have also heard of uh, popular third party launchers like Nova or Apex. So from here we're going to set Themer as our new launcher by tapping um, set home. And then choose Themer and always. And then you can always go back by going to settings, themer, and restore old home screen. And that'll give you the option to uh, choose a different launcher. So you also need to sign in with either a Google account or Facebook account uh, to download themes. So once you've done so, you can start browsing the themes. You can sort it by most popular, staff picks, or newest. So let's go ahead and pick a theme. Uh, once you find one you like, just uh, tap on it. And then tap apply at the bottom. It will take a few seconds. And the only thing you really have to set up are the app shortcuts. Uh, for example, this uh, messaging icon. If you have more than one messaging um, app on your phone, you can uh, choose which one you want to set as your default. And same goes for uh, camera, email, or everything else in between. And if you need to, if you make a mistake or anything, or you need to change an app preference, you can just go to your settings, go to Themer, and app preferences. And from here, you can just select whichever app you need to change. Uh, the most uh, recent update to Themer includes gestures. 
Uh, you may notice that the notification bar is gone. It's not permanently gone, it's just uh, hidden. You can bring it back by swiping down and hide it again by swiping back up. And uh, you can also access the themer settings by double tapping. And if you want to um, add two finger swipe gestures, uh, go to settings, themer, and then gestures. And from here you can edit the gestures and change them around. As for the other settings, uh, if you think you know what you're doing, you can play around with the advanced settings. And the system brings you, brings you to your um, regular Galaxy S4 device settings. Um, overall, it's a great app. They have around 50 different themes you can choose from. And that number is only going to get bigger as development progresses. And don't forget that it is in beta, so if you run into any bugs, issues, or crashes, or if you have any suggestions or theme requests, you can head over to support.themerapp.com and leave your feedback there to help improve the app before its full release. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the full guide at Galaxy S4 Softmodder.